Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative pilot Marixis. I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? There's survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city. I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They've requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. A solar amplifier would give them a boost. The solar technicians here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. I love seeing our Milky Way peeps mingling with the Angara. It's early in our interspecies relationship, but I hope we can build on the momentum. Any one of a million things could happen, and whoops, the neighbors hate us. So, don't go joyriding with the Nomad, huh? Obey the street signs? <laughs> You're doing a great job, really. Keep up the good work. Pathfinder? should have come to me. Shh, Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's she doing here? I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. She risked her life to... Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I don't condone what happened on Kadara. But one bad experience doesn't define an entire species. Your kind has a history of treating each other unfairly. Just ask the Krogan. How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel... He didn't used to be like this. He was... curious. Brilliant. But the Ket... Even without exaltation, they change us. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but... His hatred towards aliens... I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from EOS. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. I found a device Ven was using to communicate with the Archon. I think we can use it to triangulate that Ket flagship's nav point. All you have to do now is board it, steal the Meridian artifact, and escape in one piece. 
You've been there. Tell me what to expect. I saw very little. Corridors, an interrogation room, my prison cell. The Archon's vessel is a place of pain and death for the Ket's enemies. No one has attempted anything like this before. For all our sakes, you must succeed. Now it's my turn. Evra informed me that the despot of Kadara Port, one of your people, executed Ven Terev. I spoke to Ven. He had no regrets. We know Ven was hardly contrite at his execution. I wasn't there. What he did was inexcusable, not unforgivable. This isn't what I wanted. <sighs> Regardless, it's done. I'd like to know more about you. What about me intrigues you? What are you working on these days? I thought being a kept prisoner was the worst fate imaginable. Then I got home and saw my backlog. A Vele comes in every so often asking if I have a second. At this rate, I'll never catch up. To answer your question, I'm busy with everything and nothing. We'll see which wins. You're an expert on several topics. Remnant, Cat, stuff I don't even know exists. All true. Why? Do you want to be my student? Is that an option? Because I didn't train for this job. At all. Yet you do it well. There are two kinds of knowing. What we take in from the universe, and what's already inside us. You have the essentials figured out. The rest you can learn as you go. Are you originally from Maya, or someplace else? I was born on a research vessel in deep space. My parents were explorers. They never stayed in one place long. My own work has taken me to every world, many times over. They all try to claim me as their own, but if I'm honest, my favorite chair is here. You and my crewmate have a close relationship. Any advice? Hints? He talks in his sleep. Uh... Worth it for the look on your face. Jal is a dear and hopeless former student. He has a good spirit. You're lucky to have him, that's all. My translator doesn't know what to do with your title, Moshai. Because it isn't a title, it's a reference. People from mythological times, before the Scourge. Legends say we once had many Moshai. Master inventors of unfailing wisdom, guided by boundless compassion. That's a lot to live up to. It's nonsense. Don't remember who first called me Moshai, but I do recall telling them to shut up. To my regret, the name stuck. I've minded less lately. Being the Moshai has its uses. When the Ked are gone, if we fix all these worlds, what do the Angara want? Depends who you ask. We're individuals. Paran will continue spreading hope and optimism. I don't know what Ephra will do without an enemy to fight. Retirement won't suit him. As for me, maybe I'll just fade away. That's what people do when they're no longer needed, right? <laughs> Any ideas on how we stop the cat for good? The real question is, how do we define victory over them? Complete eradication? Unlikely, costly, and morally dubious. Drive them away? How? What stops them from returning? Peaceful coexistence doesn't seem to be an option. There's much we still don't know. The Ket are not a simple problem. We can't reduce them to a simple solution. Thank you, Moshai. Ishare. Hello, Pathfinder. I came to establish I'll let you get back to it.
Pathfinder. I'll leave you to it. Pavoa, I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's cultural museum and history archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I... Yes, I do. Need some? seen fruit like this before. What are these? It's a luxury. I feel so out of place here. People keep staring at me. I can't tell if they're fascinated or afraid. When I was little, I was scared of Turians. You're a stern species. Not helping, Ryder. Pathfinder. Credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I know what it's like, jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. 
If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they let into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. No rest for the weary. You work on the solar panels. Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it?
You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. <laughs> 